Hello, welcome and thanks for choosing this video. When it comes to finding vendors, most people would use Facebook as the main platform. This is due to the fact that it's so much easier to stay connected, not only just to the vendors, but other buyers as well. Not to mention, it's even more convenient to determine which vendors have the right niche of subscribers that suits your solo ad campaign. Let's jump into the module, shall we? Compared to using Google Search or solo ad membership sites, Facebook Group is perhaps one of the best mediums for you to find the most compatible solo ad vendor for you. It's also a great platform for both buyers and solo ad vendors to provide or gain first impression of a vendor. Through these groups, you gain access to other users' comments and the results they have gained from the solo ad vendors. That being said, there are various subgroups you can find in Facebook, and it's pretty easy to find a group. Now, to find a group, there are several keywords that you can use to find certain groups. 1. Testimonial 2. Marketplace 3. Traffic 4. Traffic Directory 5. Group 6. Tested 7. Online Market these are the select few top keywords that are used to search for solo ad groups, even though there are various groups to join. There are two things that you need to keep an eye out for. Firstly, to determine whether the group is still active or not. This is to ensure the group is still consistently getting updated from other members about solo ad vendors regarding feedback and status. Generally, smaller subgroups are the ones that potentially end up losing steam and go inactive but it's best to check the group's latest posting through the timeline section. Secondly, go through the timeline posts to see the posting environment. What I'm trying to say is that any drama or conflicts being posted, spam or irrelevant posts, and toxic negative comments. If any of these issues are present in the group, it's best to move on and find the next group. Generally, most groups with administrators or moderators would do their job to moderate the group, and that's a good group to join in on. Even though most of the testimonials posts are positive, a majority of the posts are mostly done by other solo ad vendors and not the buyers. It's widely practiced by new vendors if they want to build reputation the fastest and easiest way. Chances are their list may even be similar to other vendors out there that help out each other as well. Generally, it's not a bad thing, but their list may become saturated instead of being a niche list of subscribers. If you're aiming for a niche list of subscribers, look for new vendors as their lists are not saturated with other solo ad vendors. You can easily determine it by their testimonials, the quantity of their sales, or even their referrals. That being said, you can still opt for mainstay vendors, especially those with positive reviews from various people's testimonies. I can't exactly point out each and every group due to the fact that there are tons of Facebook groups out there to join. The least I can do is recommend several groups that you should join. Solo Ad Testimonials, one of the groups with the highest amount of members, with over 26,000, so it's easier for you to find the right vendor that suits your niche. Other groups such as Solo Ads and Ad Swaps and ClickBank Testimonials are part of the groups with higher amounts of members reaching over 10,000 as well. Even though groups with high amount of members could potentially widen your exposure for your ads, the results may still vary depending if the subscribers are compatible. If you're looking for a close-knit group with group members that only have over several thousand members or less, it may prove to be fruitful to you if you manage to get the right vendor. Check out Solo Ads Empire if you're looking for a private group instead. Besides looking for the right groups and vendors, the most important aspect when being part of a group is to abide to the group's rules and regulations. When it comes to posting, always follow the format that's been regulated for member posts and only post certain content that is allowed depending on the group such as testimonials or buying clicks only. Moreover, any post that requires in-depth details such as funnel clicks or clicks banked is required to be stated. Furthermore, always ensure the group rules regarding posting certain unrelated posts such as clicks for sale, bank clicks, or affiliate links is allowed or not. When it comes to post frequency, find out how many posts are allowed in a certain day or time frame to determine if a member is considered a spam or not. But posting for members are only limited to a single post per day. Last but not least, check any vendors that you're interested to conduct business with, either through the administrators or just checking out their blacklisted members page. 
just to ensure the vendor is not a scammer or a fraud.